Can we actually call the population and stand in the market there and look them straight in the eyes and say, I am your phone, and they will give us that respect? It seems our crowns have been stolen by somebody. It seems we are going to lose our crowns. It seems we are going to lose our people, and the people will never be there for us. Please, my brothers of the royalty, stand up. It is never too late for you to go back and stand with your people. After my enthronement with the late Fon Fonte Mjifo in 1982, he took an oath to stand with his people, to be with his people, and to support the population in times of need. That was the more reason when the Southwest funds called on a meeting in Manfe and said SCNC, they were to send a motion of support saying SCNC, they will not take what SCNC was saying. The Fund of Fontem rose up and said no, he will stand to what the people have said. If I'm making a mistake, people like Mbandam of the SDF, I'm sure they remember when the Fund of Fontem came back to Yaoundé and when he was in their club, they applauded him for that, for standing with the people. I am here still to say that we stand with the late Fun of Fontem's ideology to stand with the people of Ambazonia and to tell each and every one of you that if you can stand with your people, I am calling on all the prince and princesses all the people of the goodwill from the palace to rise up and tell the people the right thing. We will not, we will not let you derail the course of chieftaincy in the north and the southwest. I called a few funds from the northwest. A few funds responded. Some never wanted even to show up that another prince from another land was calling them. This was when the front of Fontem's palace was being touched. However, my calling new people was not to beg for any help, to ask for any help. We are equal to the task. My calling new was to advise that all those traditional artifacts should be, you know your area very well, you know your people very well, should be taken out of the palace at this particular time and preserve them because we are dealing with a reckless government that will touch the palace, cross the red line, and even kill some of you if you don't know. But I come out here today to advise and to give as my own advice as a prince that take out all the royal artifacts and place them somewhere out of every palace right now. And I'm calling on all the funds, especially those of you who were in West Cameroon House of Assembly, to step up and say no to what is going on. How long will it take you to cleanse your land? Are you sure that when you move up and those old ladies behind you and the traditional drums are being played. And the fresh granites and the fried granites are being grinded to be offered as sacrifices to the God. Are you sure that our gods are going to take those sacrifices from you people? Have you been so fair to your people? Have you treated them? Oh, you've sold them. Remember, when we take over as kings and custodians of the land, we promise to be faithful, good to all these people. I am at this particular moment calling on you to come back to the palace, sit and rethink what is going on. 
if both of you, if all of you can stand up as one person to tell President, President Paul Bia that no, enough is enough, these problems are going to, to stop. We should not let our people feel that we have sold them. We should not let our people feel that we are not equal to the task. We should not let our people feel that we are not what we are. Yet they call us Mbe, Mo, Fun, and they bow down and they clap to us. And we sit and watch at them being slaughtered as animals. Is that what we were kept there for? Do we have consciences? Are we there for the people or we are there for ourselves? <laughs> but remember that even Judah that sold Jesus never ever used that money. If you feel the government of La Republic du Cameroon will come over to you and give you money and you tend to sell your people, Remember that that money will never lead you to anywhere. Don't put your generation in jeopardy. Please, please step us, step up as the power man chiefs that we all know. Step up for your people. Say to the government, no, enough is enough. You can't start killing my people just the way you are doing. Enough is enough. Just one word from you to tell the government that no, stop doing this would save the people. Our people are all in the forest. Our people have no homes. Children have been killed. Women have been killed. Relatives have been killed. Nobody stand up to say to the general population, I am here behind you. However, I will stand for my people. If it means sacrificing my own blood to make the BLM safe, I will. And I am calling on all the BLM people to stand up and fight for your rights. Our parents did it. They fought the Germans for nine years. If it means fighting the French and the Republic for another nine years, we will do it. Please. The funds of the North and the Southwest. Remember the oath we took on the day we are being installed as kings to protect the people and the land and stand up to defend what we accepted to do. For those of you whose hearts have been stolen or for those of you whose hearts have actually moved away from the people. I ask the gods of the Ambazonia land to comfort you people. Try to make you take that role as a universal father to look after our people. The people of Ambazonia need you. The people of Ambazonia want you to be their leader. So stand up for them and say no to this brutal government. Go back to our country Sundays. Call the names of our gods. Give the traditional wine where it deserves to be. Call on our gods to protect and save the land and they will listen to your prayers. But if you fail 
to stand for our people, to span, stand for your people, the gods will run away from you. The people will run away from you. And eventually you will lose your crown. Those who want to listen should listen. Those who say because I am not a paroman chief or because I am not from your own area and say you won't listen to me. The results would only be red when everything is all over. And one day somebody will say the son of the son of Fontaine said this and it is happening. May the gods of Ambazonia continue to protect us. May the gods of Ambazonia comfort those whose fam families have been killed. May the gods of Ambazonia bless Ambazonia land right from Victoria to Widukum. All the four corners of our land. May these gods protect us day and night and victory will be us. Us. Thanks for listening.